Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. My name is Kathy of Kathy's Cash and Coin. I'm a single mom with three daughters, although my oldest is grown and out of the house and now married. My middle daughter is a college student, but she is home for the summer. And then I have my youngest that lives here with me in our home, but she's actually in Michigan for the summer. So thank you so much for being here. Thank you for checking out another one of my videos. It's been a couple weeks since I posted. I posted a savings challenge video, I think about two weeks ago. And my plan was to film more videos, get them edited and uploaded while we were out of town for the 4th of July week. We went up to Michigan, so I had all my babies with me. It was a wonderful week, um, but I didn't get any videos filmed before I left, so I didn't have any content to post. So I apologize for that. My plan was to get right into my budgeting and cash stuffing and showing you guys all the changes um, but now that our summer travel is finally done, we did our Minnesota trip in May and we did the 4th of July uh, Michigan trip and I think that's it. Um, I do hope to get back to my regular filming schedule and have some content for you guys. Thank you so much. I have so many people to thank for their support and encouragement during this time. Mary Baker, if you see her in the comments, please say hello. She has been probably the, one of the most supportive, if not the most supportive of my channel and, um, I had so much happy mail come from her, Jessie, my sweet friend, Jessie. I have happy mail to show you guys from her. And Tammy from Make Money, Save Money has sent some subscribers over to me. And I appreciate that. I appreciate you for highlighting my channel. And I apologize. I haven't been filming. Um, and there's so many people. Of course, my friend Gina Renee RN Budgets, who is also posting videos again. So check her out if you have not. Um, she's a good friend of mine. We live very close to each other. So we have actually... Uh, met in person multiple times. Uh, she's my sis. So, okay, we're going to get started. I'm already a couple minutes into this video, so I don't want to make it too long, but we're going to start as always by counting the money. All right. So today we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 120, 25, 35, 45, 50, 120, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. I am rusty. 47, 49, 51, 53, 54, 55, 56, 57, 58, 59, 60, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 70, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So we have $175. We had no IOU last time, so that's awesome. And we are going to start, I think we're just going to start with the coins this week. So this book is from Kim at All Things Kimberly, and this is A Penny a Day Keeps Debt Away, and it's a, just a penny challenge. So in May, we put 2507 in June, 1435. We're already into July, so we are definitely uh, behind, but uh, the idea is you start with one penny on January 1st, then two pennies on the 2nd, then three, then four, all the way up to December, which ends at 365. It was It is a leap year, so I already did the leap year um, in March, if I can show you, we already covered the extra 60 cents for that. So let's, I'm going to go ahead and add all this up and I will be right back. All right. So today we have $5 and 30 cents. So we're going to go to the back, see where we, we are working on November. Um, I, decided to basically start from the back of the book first uh, to knock out the, the larger numbers. So we're going to take off 325, which leaves us 205. So we're going to do 325 and 205, which is in July. So that's pretty cool. All right. So for July, we're starting out with $5.30. I know we're already couple weeks into July, but hopefully I will have a chance to go ahead and add some more to that. All right, next we are moving on to our Bucks binders. I have two Bucks binders. Both were created for me. You can get the tracker, not the envelope or the binder, but you can get this tracker from Renee at Reinventing Renee and track your own Bucks. So every one and two dollar bill in the U.S. has a letter on them, A through L, based on what city they're distributed in. B is for New York. G is Chicago. I get a lot of G's. So I think we'll do the... Oh, yeah. B only needs one more. I have a lot of G's here. Oh, let's see. We have G, 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 I. 
All right, so we are gonna do one, two, three, four, five, six. We'll do seven, we'll do seven. So. All right, so I do have two binders. This one goes up to $25 and we're gonna start with the bees. I'm not even gonna color it in because this is gonna make 25, which is awesome for backyard. So I can use this 25 to pay the landscaper um, to help pay myself back for some of the projects I had done. So we have five, seven, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, $25 for backyard. So I'm gonna put that to the side. We're gonna, I'll wipe this off and we will restart that. So that's awesome. Oh man, C only needs one more. D is for dentist slash orthodontist. And I did mention already, Autumn got her braces. Um, we have started that process. So definitely need to keep putting into this fund. That is one of the budget changes you guys will see when I do my budget update. One, two, three, four, five, six dollars in here now. E is my extra Costco money. Always love to have extra money when I go to Costco because they always have new fun things to try. Costco, I have always my main list that I get there. Eggs, paper towels, toilet paper, um, stuff like that. But now we're gonna have one more dollar. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven dollars for Costco. So hopefully I can get this finished before we make another Costco run. I is for me and myself and I, and this goes to my self-care. Usually I use it to, uh, when I get my nails done. So it's not much in here. We just finished it recently. So we have two, three, four dollars in here now. And we have a J buck. It is really hard for some reason for me to get J bucks. And J is for just keep swimming, which is desperately needed now because I need to quickly save up the money for fall swim for autumn. She does swim team here. Um, over the fall and winter. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen dollars in here now. So ten more for this one, and it'll be completed. But for some reason, J's are tough, tough to find. All right, so that's it for this binder. And then we're gonna move on to this one. This one was also created for me. So we have an H and a G, and I, th this is for my three daughters. And then I did the G box up to 50 as well because I do get so many G's like you, you see these are mostly all G bucks because I'm in the Chicagoland area so we have one G and the G is for glasses it's kind of messy all right so for G bucks we have one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen dollars now which is wonderful and then H is for my daughter, Helena. And we actually finished this like around the new year and she got the 55 in here. So that is awesome, we're, we're getting there again. So Helena now has two, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24. Oh my gosh, almost 25, that's awesome. All right, so that is it for the Bucks Binders. We will come back to the Bucks Binders if we have any, you know, a couple dollars left at the end. All right, we are moving on to the life of a pig who wants to save but loves to spend from Snow Gardener 307 and the 307 Design Studios. And I don't know where my scratcher tool is, so I'm kind of bummed about that. I have to talk to my daughters because it just disappeared. So let's see where, I think we were still on the taco race. We are on the great taco race. So there is no money in here. I needed the money for our uh, Michigan trip for 4th of July. So that's what I used it for. And I didn't have this designated to anything. So I felt it was okay to use that for Michigan. Um, and again, a trip with no debt is more important than keeping this money in these envelopes. So. We're gonna go ahead and move on. Oh yeah, we stopped for margaritas last time. So we are gonna go ahead and see what we get here. All right, $1 for tomatoes. And then we're gonna do the $1 for this spot and we're gonna keep going. All right, time to make guacamole. So we're gonna do five, $7 for that. All right, so that's $9. I think we're gonna stop there. 
We're getting there. We're getting there with the great taco rays. So we have five, seven, eight, nine dollars total. Starting out our new savings for the life of a pig who wants to save but loves to spend challenge. And I love this book so much. These are just so cute and I cannot wait to go further. And we're, we're going to probably skip some of them because we are behind for the year. But th that means next year I still have some to do in here. So I'm super excited about that. Um, love this book. All right, next we are doing the color dye savings challenge. This is from Erin Lynn, Without Limits Budgets with Erin Lynn. Lynn. So we're gonna have, we're gonna roll a die and we have a color and whatever the number is, we'll put on here. So red is for swim, orange is for pets, yellow is for home, green is for grass, blue is also for swim, and purple we just started for debt. So we're gonna see what we get. We're gonna roll three times. Red for swim is getting four. I'm excited about that because like I said, swim, is coming up quick. We're gonna put one back and take a five. And I already did take 50 out of here um, to pay for the summer swim and sailing and stuff. So we have five, seven, nine, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18 dollars in here now. Yay, oops, I forgot to write it down. Oh, I love that we got a red. We got red again. Three. Wow. I guess it's here in that, that swim. I need to really save up quickly for summer swim. So we're going to put $2 back now and take a five. So swim now has five, 10, 12, 14, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21 dollars in here now. Oh, that makes me happy. Last roll. Yellow is getting two. Yellow is for home, which is great. So I can use this for anything I want for the home, anything I need. It could be home decor, it could be appliances, it could be outdoors, one, $2. So we have 20, 40, 55, 60, 62, 64, 66, 67, 68, 69, and $70 in here now. Awesome. So it has a ways to go. Um, oh, pets only has three more slots. Grass or outdoors only has four more. And then swim and duck. Cool. And I guess I'm doing things totally out of order today. If you're used to my regular order, I forgot about the sloth savings challenge. And I don't know how because this one is one of my favorites. It is definitely slow going. This is from Lisa at Lisa Gray from me. And then we are using my envelope or binder I won on Budget with Emmy's channel. And then I have two 20-sided dice. I have one I got from Bianca at Play and Live Budget. And then this cute one with the turtle inside I got from Lizzie at Busy Lizzie's Budget. So one of them will be which envelope, because this is a 20-envelope binder, and one will be how much we're going to put in there. All right, so we have three and seven. That's a seven. I kind of turned it. Three and seven. So three, seven is open and seven, three is open. So we're gonna go ahead and knock out the seven in number three. So we're gonna put five, seven. So envelope three now has 50, 70, 95, 102 dollars in here, right? 50, 70, no, I counted wrong. 50, 70, 85, 92, 92. Not 102, 92, but very close to 100. All right, we're going to roll one more time because we rolled less than 10. Oh boy, we have 20 and 14. So 20, 14 is open or 14, 20 is open. Ooh. I'm going to go for it. We're going to put $20 in envelope 14. Envelope 14 now has 20, 42, 44, 45. 20, 42, 44, $45 in envelope 14. Oh my gosh. Knocked out another 20 though, so that's good. All right, so this is another one I would love to come back to if I can. It is a very slow moving challenge. Um, this will be $4,200 when it's completed, so I'm really want to start focusing on this a little bit more than I have been, um, but we'll see.
All right, we are moving on to my scratch offs and this is a revolving fund for holidays or birthdays, gifts, stuff like that. Um, we have been working on this Hello Lucky one from Alicia at Hands and Bands for a while. There's two more to go. So let's see what we get today. I wish I had my scratcher. $10, not too bad. So let's see, we have five, we'll do this. So we're gonna do five, seven, nine, ten. And we're gonna take a 20. So for my revolving holiday and gift fund, we now have 20, 40, 2, 44, $45. This one will be completed next week. I'm tempted to scratch the last one, but I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna hold off till next week. And then next week, maybe we'll all, depending on the number, maybe we'll also start a new one. But this is awesome. All right, we are moving on to the Mom's Heart Challenge, and this is from Tasha at Mind Your Money on YouTube or TashaLovesLife.com. And what we have down here are all the bonus hearts that I did break into quarters to make them because they're $20 each. So just to make it a little easier, we're just doing $5, or sometimes we'll do 10 maybe to get this finished up. Uh, obviously, Mother's Day and Father's Day have already passed by, so we are going to just put $5 in here and we now have $25, $30 towards next year's Mother's Day and Father's Day, which is a great start. And we will probably just print another one and get this started again. I love this challenge. It's super easy. $10, $5. I mean, you could, you could make this $2 and $1 if you wanted to. And down here, you could make the bonus hearts $5. You could do however you want to, but I just think it's a simple challenge. And I love Tasha at Mind Your Money. So if you're not following her, you should go over there and check her out. All right, we are moving on to the Happy Go Lucky Challenge. I love this challenge. This is from Liz at Liz and Less, and we have two more to go. So what's awesome about this challenge is you could save $50, $100, or $150, depending on how you did it. So each of the uh, little icons have numbers, two numbers by them. So if you save the top number, you save 50. If you only save the bottom, you'd save 100. But if you save them both, you would save 150. So we have an eight and a 14. We're gonna go ahead and knock out the 14 and leave the eight for next week. We'll have one more to go. This will be finished next week. So that is so awesome. All right, so we're doing 14. Let's see. I'll break this into, okay. So 14, so we're gonna do $6 back, five, six, and take a 20. So we have $41 towards swim. I did deplete this to pay for summer swim. There was a lot more than this in there, but now we are starting to save for fall swim. So once this it gets to another 100 or 200, whatever, um, we're just gonna keep doing Liz's challenges to go towards swim. All right, guys, we are moving on to Scramble. And Scramble is from Wendy at the Thrifty Sewist. I feel like I forget to say that every single video, so I am remembering to mention Wendy. Thank you so much for those of you that gave your words. Remember, I will take one word from each of you when I pick the new letters for next week. Thank you so much for all of you. You guys are so awesome. You gave me so many words. I uh, Most weeks, I can't even use all the words that you guys give me. So hopefully, I will get through this quickly. And we're going to start with the word mega, which is 5-7. Mega is from Keisha Irwin. And then we have ages. Two, four, five for ages. Ages is from Rebecca Hubbard. And then Sage, which is also five, is from Rena B8670, Angela Leak, and Joey Roberts. And then Sag, which is four. Sag is from Harvey Loves Budget. And then Snag, which is two, five for Snag. Snag is from Annette. And then Sang, Sang is from Betty Boop. And then Bang, seven for Bang. Bang is from Peyton. And then Bangs, eight for Bangs. That is from my sweet friend Tara Ann, Budgets and Self Care. And then we have Bags, seven for Bags. Bags is from Jam Life and then just Bag, Bag is from Cheryl at Green Rain 84. And then we have Bag Men. 
which is six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven for Bagman, and that is from Samantha Birch. And then we have Bag, which is six. Bag is from Nobody But DW. And then we have Began, which is five, six, seven, eight for Began. Began is from Michelle Sheridan. And then we have Bean, six for Bean. Bean is from Rose Young. And then Beans, which is seven. Beans is from Daniel. And then Beams, six, nine for Beams. That is from Christine O'Reilly. And then just Beam. Beam is from Cindy Chapman. And then Mean, six. Mean is from Cindy, the egg gatherer. And then Means. Means is from Tasha at Mind Your Money. And then Mains. Mains is from Arnitra M. Macklin. And then Manges, or Manges, I'm not sure how to pronounce that, but five, six, seven, eight, nine, because this is from Mercedes at Teach and Budget, and it is a contagious skin disease I think it is <laughs> I hope I said that right but then just mange five six seven eight for mange that is from Lisa from Ohio and then name name is from Jedi Jessic nope sorry name is from Jose Luis Castillo and then Bane is from Jedi Jessic. And then Vane, which is seven. Vane is from Sydney Smith. And then Vane's eight for that one. That is from Girly Ghoul. And then Van is from Alicia Curtis. And then Maven, seven, eight, nine, ten. Maven is from Maureen Donahue. And then Maven's, seven, 11. Maven's is from Drew Conway. And then we have Gave, six, seven, eight for Gave. And that is from Lisa Warren. And then Save. Save is from Aunt Laura and Brittany Rayner. And then Same. Same is from Kayla Budgets. And then Game, five, six, seven for Game. Game is from Catherine Morano. And then Games, eight for Games. That is from Mayuri Das and Tracy Rayum. And then we have Gem, five, six for Gem. That is from Sandra L. Moore. And then Gems. Gems is from Ro Rochio Medell. I'm sorry if I'm mis mispronouncing your name, I apologize. And then Gas is four. Gas is from Letitia McGrady. And then we have Vegas. Six, seven, eight, nine for Vegas. And that is from Lexi Fletcher. And then we have Vegan. Six, seven, eight, nine for vegan. That is from Deb Hernandez. And then we have vegans, which is 10. Vegans is from Haley Rain. And finally, amen, <laughs> which I thought was perfect to end on, which is six. Amen is from Jocelyn Hoskins. $292 this would be. Hopefully I didn't mess it up. And I'm sorry if I mispronounce people's names. That I would, I'm really sorry. I try. All right, 292. So we're going to do 25% of 292. That gives us $73. I think we have it. Yes, we have 60, 5, 70, 72, $73. 20, 40, 65, 72, 73 dollars. No IOU once again. Oh my goodness. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and see. This is only two, two, uh, not weeks, but not weeks in a row, but two games of scramble. So 
So let's see what we got here. So we have 20, 40, 60, 80, 100, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 27, 29, 30, 31. $131 just in two games of scramble. And that is all thanks to you guys. Let's see what we have left. We have 2, 4, 6, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21. $21 left, so that's pretty awesome. All right, I will pick the letters in a minute, but let's go spend the $21. All righty, since we have at least 20, we are gonna go ahead back to the Sloth Savings Challenge and roll at least once. Oh my gosh, we got a 20 and a six. Let's see. Oh, well, guess what? <laughs> 620 is already covered. So I guess we are gonna do $6 in envelope 20. I guess that answered my question for me. We're gonna do $6 in envelope 20. Two, four, six. So we have 20, 32, 34, $36 in here now. Shall I roll one more? Mm. Oh, I think we're gonna leave it there and we are gonna we are gonna go to the color dye savings challenge and we're gonna roll a few times here. All right, so we got blue, which is swim or swim now. <laughs> it wasn't before. Um, so we're gonna put four dollars in here. It was for glasses before. So two, three, four. So, and I did take uh, 50 out of here for swim as well already. So we have 5, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15 in here now. So there would be 65 in here, but I did take 50 of it for swim. Well, a couple more times. Blue again, which is swim, and four again. I did shake them, which is, wow. Four. One, one, two, three, four. So it now has 5, 10, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19 in here now. And we'll last roll. Two for purple, which is debt. Purple. <laughs> Purple's not really getting much here. Oh, let's keep it the same color, maybe. Kind of funny that it's got a one and a two. <laughs> All right, so we have $3 in here now. Let's see how much we have left. One, two, three, four, five dollars left. Hmm. All right, I'm gonna roll one more time. If I get a six, then it's gonna just get a five. I got a two and purple again. That's so weird, I've done that twice now. Two, one, so there is now one, two, three, four, five dollars in here now. I'm going to keep that B because we're going to go to the Bucks binder with the rest. We have one, two, three dollars, two more G's. See if we can find better or different letters besides G's to go to the Bucks binder. Yep. So I saved one L for Lex. Lex is my oldest daughter who I was able to see and spend time with over 4th of July week, her and her husband, my son-in-law, which was so fantastic to see her because we actually had not seen each other since her wedding in October. So it was time to hang out and have some fun and that was awesome. All right, and the other two letters I saved are B and I. And B, I just finished, so we will, I will wipe this off and color one in. And then I, for me, myself, and I, we're going to now have five whole dollars in here. I know one dollar at a time doesn't seem like much, but when you add this up, it's $25. You do this four times, that's $100. Two, three, four, five. And it really slowly adds up. Yes, yeah, slowly. But if you have an extra $100 here or there for things, it really helps and makes a difference. All right, guys, here we are with all the letters for scramble, and I'm going to pick about six consonants and two vowels, and we are going to go ahead and start with S. So don't forget to leave your an R, your words down below, a C, 
and N. Another R, two R's. One, four, five, one more. And go with this one. And an F. Interesting. All right, so we have S, R, C, N, R, and F. Two uh, vowels. Uh, we'll go with this one. An I and an A. All right, so the letters for this week are S, R, C, N, R, F, I, and A. The only letter you should be using twice is R. Everything else you can only use one time. Uh, again, the letters are S, R, C, N, R, F, I, and A. Please you leave your words down below and thank you so much for playing along. Oh my gosh, that is it, guys. Thank you so much for hanging out with me today. Thank you so much for all your support and stay tuned for a Happy Meal video, definitely. And then finally, my budget video. And I can tell you guys about so many changes that have happened in my life here at my home and so many things. So I will see you guys in the next video. Again, don't forget to leave your words down below for Scramble. And thank you so much for playing along. You guys take care. Have a blessed day.